Hello everyone, I'm going to do um, a steampunk project. First, what I'm going to show you is uh, a steampunk project I did last year. And it is a made the bowl out of paper and uh, glue, which I can show you later. And then after I did that, I'm turning this around. This is foam board. And if you look, my metal and see my rivets I'll explain that in a minute and there's my metal and I did it on the inside as well I put a clock facing in here and I did some stamps and there was um, the hands of a clock which in the move evidently has fallen off there are some tiny pieces of a watch um, and other parts these are Tim Holtz type stuff that you can buy at the Hobby Lobby online or at the store. Um, these little watch parts I got off of Etsy, but I think you can get them off of craftstar.com. Craftstar has a lot of art supplies. If you can't get it there, then go to Etsy. But I recommend you do Craftstar first. And there's some more stuff here. Um, this one actually won a blue ribbon at my county fair where I lived last year. In fact, they wouldn't let me pick this up and take it away at the end until I told them what it, wa what it was, the ladies didn't know what steampunk was, and how I made it. They wanted to know how I made it and the metal and all my yard. So I'm just showing you this as a preview because, and then I bought this little thing in Hobby Lobby where you can put it in a stand because I didn't want anything breaking it because it's not, they're, they're not, uh, you know, completely they're breakable. They're fragile. It's for art to look at. It's not to play with or manhandle. Anyway, so I'm going to move this to the side. And I've decided to do a steampunk hat. Of the same principle. This hat I bought at Hobby Lobby. They had them on sale towards Christmas last year for like 99 cents. It's foamy. So it's not real, you know, it's not like a hat hat, it's, but it's foamy. Um, we're going to use this as the base. Then the rivets that I told you about a while ago, this is how I made them. I took, now in a lot of videos that you see online, they do the rivets with, with you know, a hot glue gun and they do little glue squirts and call it a day. That works, but I, I made my own. I liked mine better. And this is the foam board that you can buy and it comes in a great big sheet and then you cut it up. And then I bought this. Um, hole punch, you know, you can get them in Hobby Lobby with different sizes. They got the circles to let you know exactly how big the punch is going to be. I got this one for th this. And then you just take it and you put it in. I did these, I pre did these so you would see them. And then there you go. And then you have a rivet. Ta da! Now, you do a bunch of these because you don't know how many you're going to need. I may need more. I only bought one of the big foam boards, where, which are a buck something. I may have to go get another one. I'm not sure if I got enough. Um, because then the, what you do after that is you take that foam board and you cut it up. And I wanted some long pieces too on here that I'm going to do. But then you just you take them and you cut them in all different sizes and shapes. Because if you remember on the bowl, they're not all flush. They're just kind of hot mismatched all around. And it because it's a steampunk theme, so it's not perfect. The, the mechanical parts of it are the putting the metal and putting it together. It's not all perfect. So that you have to remember that. So you cut, the, I just cut these all in links so I can make it easier to, to cut as I go. So you're going to need a foam board. I use brown. It makes it easier for the painting later. I'm also going to use, this is tool, or you can use ribbon. I may need some more of this. I have some. Uh, I'm thinking of adding this in at the end. You're going to need scissors good pair of scissors um, you're going to need and I'm just using basic craft paint which is you know $2.99 at Hobby Lobby black and you this is the this is the main thing that really really puts it on is the bronze 
The bronze is what gives it that metally hard look that you saw on that bowl. Um, those two are what you need. They're like $2.99 a bottle. They're pretty big bottles. Um, you can use a sponge brush, makeup sponge, whatever to use your painting. Um, as we go along, I'll see what works for me. I, I haven't decided what, what's going to make me happy. I'm going to try three different types of glue. I use like Elmer's glue with the uh, bowl. Uh, this is like a cheap version of it. I'm finding that using, you know, when you get this glue so special, finding on a lot of my paper projects, that's not really such a good idea. Elmer seems to really do better. Um, Mod Podge you can do, but I find with certain projects it doesn't like dry all the way or something. It's, it doesn't do well. Everything feels kind of tacky. So depending on what the project is, I Mod Podge is in. Eh, I'm not an overly big fan of it. Um, I also have this Elmer's in a spray adhesive. I want to try to see how it works with my stuff, but being that I'm on oxygen. If it affects my breathing, that will be something I will not be continuing, but we'll try it. And then there's this tacky glue, which everybody knows all about tacky glue. You see it all the time in the stores. So I want you guys to uh, get your stuff together. Take your time. Get your stuff together. And in the next video, this was just a video to just kind of show you. I've got all kinds of metal pieces uh, that I'm going to use that I have uh, that I bought at Hobby Lobby and off of Etsy and see like there's some keys there we might use don't know yet just you know as you, when you do crafting projects it, it's always about what trips your trigger at the time see I bought all kinds of stuff last year when I was doing see these are some more um, Here's more keys that are bronzy. I might use those better than the silver ones. Spare parts. This is a big thing with steampunk spare parts. This was bought, there are many gears um, at Hobby Lobby. You know, they have those sales all the time where things are between 40 and 50% off. It's like every other week, it all switches around back to the same, especially over in the craft paper where people are doing the scrapbooking and stuff. A lot of this stuff's over in that area. More spare parts. More spare parts. See, I've got all kinds of things to play with. Um, here is a clock face. We may put that on here. Because this is going to be something I'm selling. Um, a long chain. This I got off Etsy. Um, this is watch parts and I got this off an Etsy store called Art My Way. Um, it's five grams and it's all kinds of tiny little gear parts. You, If you use the gear parts and stuff you, you might have to use the hot glue gun in the end of the day. Um, I'm not sure, but we'll see. There's all kinds of stuff you can use. You can use ribbit. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff because this is going to be, I'm going to sell this hat and I think it's going to be more for uh, either to wear it like to a Halloween party or just as a decoration in somebody's home. Um, I don't know yet. But I think I have some more stuff, but we'll see. So I've got to get my stuff together, too. So get your top hat. You can go, I don't know, online, Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they've got them out. I bought this one last year. It was like a dollar because it uh, kind of reminds me of that foam board, what it's made out of. Um, it will fit your head as if you're an adult. It'll fit an adult's head if you wanted to wear it. I guess you could wear it for a party or something uh, and then put it up, or you can um, just use it as... If you're a diehard steampunk fan, you can just use it as decoration in your home. So, we will get to, to the next video after that, and we shall get started on this steampunk project. I hope everybody enjoys it and has a good time. I'll see you back then.